Days of delays for NASA's Artemis program. After two scrub launches, the space program is now looking to take off later this month. Reporter Juliana Narvaez from our DC Bureau has more on the moon mission. The Artemis 1 mission launch, the beginning of a space program which aims to return humans to the moon and eventually send crewed missions to Mars, was postponed on Saturday after team members discovered a liquid hydrogen leak. According to NASA, Artemis 1 will not launch for the remainder of this launch period that ends on Tuesday and will instead aim towards future launch periods set for September and October to ensure the safety and the mission's success. We do not launch until we think it's right. So I look at this as a part of our space program of which safety is the top of the list. Not only does the Artemis program look towards sending the first person of color on the moon, it also aims to establish a permanent base, learning how to work and live there so astronauts can eventually take that knowledge to the next level, Mars. The purpose of going back to the moon is to learn to live, to work, to develop, to innovate, to survive in that hostile environment as we prepare the new technologies to take a human crew to Mars. Although Artemis 1 will not have any humans aboard, it will carry three mannequins to measure deep space radiation future crews could endure and to test new suit technology. Artemis 1 will kick off the first phase of NASA's space exploration program with goals to send a diverse group of astronauts to the moon and eventually to Mars, with missions set for 2024 and 2025. From Washington, D.C., for the South Florida Media Network, this is Juliana Narvaez.